What? Whose grandfather was a king? From our cast. Hi, I'm Sir Ronan. I'm here talking to LUK and I'm playing Knowing Me, Knowing You about my See How They Run co-stars. Who is a professional magician? It makes me laugh to think that it's Sam. <laughs> I just want to say Sam, even if it's not true, because I think that would be really funny. <laughs> he knew it was Adrian Brody. <laughs> I should have known. I think my heart knew it was Adrian, but I really wanted it to be Sam. Who worked in a sausage factory? I feel like Charlie might have worked in a sausage factory. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was a baby when I first met Brad Pitt, unless someone else did. I hope he doesn't get weirded out by this, that I've spent years telling people that he held me as a child. <laughs> my sort of mission is to make sure his children also know that I was held by Brad Pitt as a child. Um, yeah, I've always, I've always known that. And was I shocked? Not, not really, because it sounds like he's a really nice person and my dad did a film with him. I think if my dad hadn't worked with him, that would be weird. <laughs> Who else is there? There's too many people in the film. Oh, it's Reese. Okay, okay. I usually get given a lot of the outfits I've worn, which I love because I've worked with really great costume designers that obviously have a very good style. And um, yeah, they'll usually give me a bunch of stuff. So like I just did a film in Australia with an incredible costume designer called Alice Babbage. And she gave me like half the truck basically, um, which was great. What else have I stolen? Oh, oh, you know, my favorite thing that I've ever stolen off a set, although it was given to me, I didn't actually steal it, was um, a copy of Little Women, but by Jo March, because there's a whole sequence at the end of the movie where she finally gets her book published. Um, obviously it was written by Louisa May Alcott, but you know, we had a sort of meta thing going on where Jo actually wrote it. So I have a copy of it and Joe's name is underneath the title, which is very special. <laughs> These are all really funny. Who had a job delivering burritos on a bike? Okay, so it's gotta be someone American. Um, so Adrian was the magician. It must be Sam. There's no, are there any other Americans? Yeah, it's gotta be Sam. <laughs> Did he eat them all? I bet he ate them all. I bet he was a terrible burrito delivery man. <laughs> yeah, I've never had any other job, which is quite uh, depressing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've only ever acted. However, it was genuinely a childhood dream of mine to become either a hairdresser, um, which is ironic because I'm dreadful at doing my own hair and everyone else's, or a waitress. So I was sort of the reverse of the stereotype and I was an actor that actually wanted to be a waitress instead of the other way around. But I will say that like being an actor um, gives you the opportunity to at least look like you're good at other things. So I've spent my life pretending I'm good at other things. I would imagine Ruth has a production company named after a Sylvia Plath poem, but I don't know which one. Is that right? Ooh, very nice. Yeah, I've always wanted to direct. Um, I just need to actually get up off my bum and do it. I produce now like a lot of other actors, um, Arcade, so that's our, our company and we're making our first film now called The Outrun, which is very exciting. It's just a great way to have a bit more creative control and get involved earlier on in a project and really kind of like dedicate all your time and energy to it. So I think it's a really good thing that um, actors are uh, kind of stepping up and have more responsibility now. I think I knew about some of the cast when I signed on. Uh, Sam was one of the first people who was cast, Sam Rockwell. Um, so obviously that was a major reason for me to want to be a part of this film because he's the best and I'd only heard wonderful things about him as a person um, and he's just one of the most exciting actors that we have. I had the best time working with Sam Rockwell. Um, he feels like a proper friend now. We had all of our scenes together um, so we really kind of had to rely on each other. We were with one another every single day and it was very much like a, you know, a buddy partnership and like if Sam 
lost his iPod. He brought a lot of, he has like four iPods, I think, um, from like different decades. And he would lose probably like one to two every day on set. So I'd like go and find them so so that he had his music playing on set. And um, he was just like, he's so infectious to have around. He always had music playing, he always danced. He had this ball on, <laughs> on a string that he would just like punch for ages and we'd all watch him do that, which was fun. And he has absolutely no ego. He's, you know, Sam's been working since he was a child like me. So um, he's definitely one of those actors that's got a really kind of incredible work ethic and commitment to the job. And I just love him, he makes me laugh. I reckon I'm going, I was a Pippa. I'm gonna say Pearl. It was Pippa, it was Pippa, ah. What? Whose grandfather was a king from our cast? Either David or Pearl. David. Really? Oh, I'm not surprised. He's very regal, David. I think he's told me that actually. He is quite prince-like. None of these are surprising me, I have to say. Yeah, it's a genre that I haven't really touched on quite as much as I've wanted to. Comedy is the thing that scares me the most and it's the thing that I love the most. But I just think it takes real skill and like brains to do it properly. And so to be surrounded by people like Sam Rockwell and to have Tom George who is like, you know, British comedy royalty now, I kind of feel like him and Charlie. Um, that was really exciting and very scary for me and I'd love to, to do more of it. I was kind of dead set on using my own accent as well because comedy is just hard when it's not, or I find it hard not being a comedian when it's not um, your own voice. So I was kind of, adamant that I would only do it if they'd let me be Irish. I would love to do a musical. I'd love to do a musical, big dance numbers. That'd be great. I haven't done horror, really. I'll do anything, really. <laughs> Just give me a job. Thank you very much for watching me play Knowing Me, Knowing You with LUK. As you can see, there are about a million people in our cast and they're all really talented and really interesting. So you should go see the movie.